Hi, it's Sunfire TV, and you're watching Metal Robot Reviews. Welcome to the Metal Robot Reviews channel. I'm your host, Tom McKay. We are currently living in a time where it's not only welcomed, but encouraged to stay inside. A far cry from the days when it used to be uh, frowned upon and seen as lazy, a hippie, or you're seen as one of the stepbrothers from the movie Step Brothers. Now, because we're all required to stay inside, this means that it can be a slight problem for most drummers, because drums, as you probably know, are instruments that require a lot of sound that sounds like banging on pots and pans, but through a subwoofer aimed directly at your neighbor's house. But uh, if you have an electronic drum kit, not so much. Which actually brings us to our special guest. She is one of the most fun music Twitch streamers on the platform. I am not, of course, talking about Matt Heafy in a wig. Please welcome Sunfire mm -hmm. TV. Sun, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So um, I'm guessing, hey, after that monologue, I'm guessing being a Twitch streamer, staying inside isn't anything new to you at this point, is it? No, it's not. It's actually <laughs> like it hasn't changed like my routine at all. I've put so much work into it to the point where I'm okay being at home. Like, you know, it's not like, I, unfortunately, I don't have a full-time job mm -hmm. right now, which is not a huge problem at this time. But Twitch has kind of like taken that uh part of you know like just bringing in what i what i can pay bills with in a way right so that's good that like twitch has been helping with that and like my dedication to twitch has go has grown in the last two years usually i would say like 70 percent of the time at home <laughs> uh working on drumming i'm working on my channel working on graphic design because i'm also a graphic designer so so uh given that most of your presence is on twitch you can imagine it may have been a bit difficult to try and find a lot about you in general. Because I feel like I know a lot more about Sunfire TV than I do Sun. So mm. for the for those watching at home currently curled up in their anime blankets, please tell us the backstory to Sun. Like, what are you about? Well, I'm from Costa Rica. I'm Hispanic and I grew up in Costa Rica, Brazil, Dominican Republic. I traveled when I was very little because my dad's job. Um, and... I came to the States to study graphic design and I was doing that for a while. I'm pretty much like an introvert, so I was like always at home, but I would also go out sometimes and, and my, you know, I'm pretty nerdy too. So I was going through the Marvel encyclopedia and I found the name Sunfire. And that uh, that character I actually like just called my attention because it was just like, it started with an S because my name is Sophia. Mm. And so I was like, that's going to be my League of Legends handle. <laughs> and so I just went with that. And so I, when I found Twitch, I just wanted to use Sunfire because that's like the only gamer tag or, you know, just the name that I started using related to gaming. And Twitch is, you know, was related mostly to gaming back then. But because the music community is growing so much now, it's like, you know, it's such a, a big platform for so many other content. Uh, categories and different content right what made you think that twitch streaming was the thing that you wanted to end up doing well i did not like so when i found out about twitch i said you know what? i'm gonna put a couple hours into this and see what happens i'm gonna play zelda and you know like games that i'm like you know i grew up with zelda so i was like i'm gonna play the stuff that i really like and so i saw you know people coming into the chat and i like the fact that you can build a community and like you know people coming into the chat and talking to you and so i was like oh there's friends and you know and so i kept i kept doing that and it kept you know growing and increasing with viewership and so once like i found out about the music channel uh, or the music category i said oh people can play music on twitch that's amazing i wish i could i didn't have a drum set at the time because i i did have an acoustic drum set when i was like in high school but we had to sell it because i moved and so um my friend uh actually offered me his electronic set and he's like i don't need it if you want to use it you can and i said oh my god yes i could use it for twitch and that would be cool because then i can get to practice again and so because I've, I've been drumming most of my life like since i was 10 so i wanted to get back on that um i had bands here and there like in middle school high school talent show stuff but nothing serious and then i said yeah so i started drumming on twitch and um I don't know. It, it just went from there. I just got so dedicated to the channel that it it, it got it pretty pretty much became like like a baby to me, a uh, second priority in life in a way. Like I don't know. It just became my passion because in a way I saw it growing so much and I got so much better at drumming that I cherished it. And so I 
you know, I kept I kept putting as much as I could to it, and and it kept building the community and my skills as a drummer too. So, just out of curiosity, is that uh, the kit that you were talking about uh, in that? Is that the kit behind you? Yes, <laughs> you can't see it very well because I'm this computer's here. But yeah, this is the Roland. It's a Roland TD11 TD11 K. It's it's lasted all these years. Fantastic. So uh, <laughs> is that so? What me? Uh, what made you? Because you started off uh, your Twitch journey, we'll say, uh, as a gamer on Twitch. Was getting the kit something that uh, made made you want to start focusing more on drums for Twitch? Sorry, can you repeat that question? You were cutting off. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why you, there was like a still image of sun on my screen. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, if it wasn't for that kit being available to me, I was I would probably just be still gaming and not have as much success. Not that I, like gamers have success, but like there's just... A big difference between gaming on Twitch and music. I feel like music has more opportunity mm -hmm. because it's such a small uh, community right now and gaming has way more competition. So I think yeah. that it wouldn't be as successful, Okay. in my opinion. Hey. So yeah, I, that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good reason. I mean, all, most people end up switching to music because gaming is so overcrowded with everybody. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if PewDiePie had that option, he'd probably go for the music too. Um, yeah. so, so when did your love of metal start though? Uh, okay. So when I was in fourth grade, I found out about Linkin Park and uh, I always go, dude, it was like, I was a, yes. in my living room. I was a 10th, like fourth grader. Sorry. So I was 10 years old, fourth grade in Brazil. And, uh, I was watching MTV when MTV had music and I found Linkin Park and I really liked it and crawling was the first song. And then I was like, I want to be able to play the song on the drums. And then I found Blink-182 and I wanted to be like Travis. And so like, I, I really just got into like the heavier, I guess that would be like my gateway to heavier music. Cause I, I was listening to Britney Spears and NSYNC before that. Uh, so uh, that was my gateway to like heavier music because Linkin Park is, could be a little heavier compared to those pop uh, genres. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. especially in the early days. We're not counting uh, the last album they put out, but that's okay. Uh, so. Yeah, like Hybrid Theory is my first like favorite yes. album ever. Yes. yes. And, so, <laughs> and so from there, I went to Avenged Sevenfold um, and then Slipknot. And then it just opened up to way more. What? You know? I, I, why is it that everyone's start in metal is always like Linkin Park or something, especially if they're like in the uh, 2000s? Because mine was a yeah. Sevenfold. I'm the loner here. I'm stuck with the... I, I, don't yeah, but, I love A7X, but like Linkin Park is where it's at in the 2000s. <laughs> it was. It was, yes. Do you think your skills as a drummer are what the main focus of your content on Twitch is? Or do you think it's your, for lack of a better word, extravagant personality? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> that comes along secondary, like it's my main content, I always say this to people, uh, it's like, my drumming is the main content and it's what I focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what people like to watch. That's like what they know me for now. But you know, everything else comes along. Like I do have other content. I, I was dancing on, on Twitch yesterday because I wanted to do something different. And also because I promised my community we'd do it like a dancing stream with Just Dance, which is a game on the Switch. And people are just, you know, hey, hyping me up. Like, yeah, you could do it. Cause it was like really intensive workouts. And so stuff like that, where I can just relax and do other things aside from drumming. I do that. And then I do like, I play video games. I play sometimes League of Legends or Rocket League, but you know, Mostly 80%, 99.9% is drumming. So given the fact that you're using an electronic kit, uh, you did mention that you had an acoustic kit back in the day, but given that you're using an electronic kit on Twitch, I, I, I care, it's bound to happen where we'll see some comments from people who are unreasonably angry at the fact that you're using an electronic kit. Have oh you, my, have you yeah. had that yet? <laughs> yes. Like, oh I, got a, I had a guy on my Instagram say... What is that? What is, that's not a real <laughs> What is that's not a real that's not a real drum set he said. Oh my god, Roland would be so upset and, and like crying right now because what? Roland is one of the best bands for I'm sorry, no, whoa. Bands? What? <laughs> one of the best brands. Well, I don't know, Roland is one of the best bands. You cannot deny that. <laughs> I forgot the R. Brands uh, of drums just electronic like e drums top brand i would say in my opinion I, i've heard elise's and I've, i'm sorry I'm, this is not a like a brand 
plug here, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say it's my recommendation. As a beginner drum uh, drummer that you really want something in, indoors, I would say Roland, it, for the quality that you're paying for. Anyways, I had comments that say, what are those? That's just plastic. And I'm like, what, yeah. What is technology? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the stone age. <laughs> Yeah, like, okay, so this, that would be way... If I had an acoustic drum set, I would not be able to drum. There's just two houses right next to me, and there's a person under me. Oh. So, I mean, yeah. I, he can hear he can hear me, like, hit the drums. Like, it just hurt. It just sounds like, you know, like, the ceiling would kind of rumble a little bit. You can hear, like, duh, 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 duh. But it's not like you hear the cymbals and the... And, you know, it's not... That would be really bad. I do want to, like, you know, educate them. I tell them, hey, it's, uh, you know, so I use Roland... It's an e-drum, like, you have to kind of understand that they're, like, also a big a part of, like, drumming, you know, in the drumming community. E mm -hmm. Electronic drums are are just huge, too, you know, there's not just acoustics. I get acoustic drums, like, there's, normally, that's how drums, like, drummers start, and that's what a drum set looks like yes. in everybody's brain. But, you know, you have the pads, too, and they can sound pretty close to an actual acoustic set. Like Roland makes a great job, does a great job with that. So you've obviously performed a lot of songs while on Twitch. Uh, I gotta ask, what is the one song that you love to get requested? On top of that, what's the one song that you hate when it's requested? Okay, oh my God. So there's just so many. I get really excited about like, um, like just pop for some reason. Like when people request Backstreet Boys, <laughs> I don't know why. Because it's you gotta fun do because blast it's like, beats on them. That's the best yes, way. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like I get excited when when somebody requests "Tell Me Why," and then I'm just like double time. Tell yeah, me why. why? Do, da, 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 da. Like I don't know why. That that's just how it is, and I get excited. Everybody knows the song, and it's corny, and everybody sings it. So that's why I like it. Stuff like that, pop or or just fun like rock metal songs. Like I don't know. Like toxicity is so overplayed. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, really. But it's fine because everybody knows it. Everybody's like super hype. Like, so that could be like a hate love relationship with Toxicity by System of a Down. But yeah, uh, the, the the fun stuff is like funky, like pop, like feel good music. Um, and then, you know, there's times where people are like through the fire and flames and I go, come on. Like, and I'm oh like, God. <laughs> yeah. And so I do it. And, but that, and then I just get super tired. So I just have to take like a five minute break after that. But you know, sometimes I just do the intro and I, and I go, Hey, because you're that type of viewer that's, that just wants to request something to see me crumble and see if I can do it because they request things and they go, I just want to see if you can play it. Why are you like that? You just want to, oh. you want to come into my stream and have a good time and just request and see me do well, right? Well, they're, Not stuck, they're stuck inside. They want to, they want to see a stress <laughs> test live. <laughs> the, yes. The best kind of yes. reality TV and it's found on Twitch. Right, right. I don't hate it. I don't hate Through the Fire and Flames that much because it's fun because I can play it at first, but then once it's getting to the middle part end of, of the song, I'm just like, <gasps> let it end. But there's stuff that people request that are funny, like terrible covers of actual songs. So, you know, there's those covers that people will do and they sing like really bad on purpose mm -hmm. or not, no, or not even on purpose. They just sound terrible. So I have those uh, requests and I hate them, but at the same time, it's, it's funny because people laugh. They go, they come in my chat at that time and they're so confused as to what am I watching? And so it's <laughs> me drumming over a terrible cover of like Sweet Child of Mine and the guy singing like, ah! and it's like, terrible on purpose and I have to drum over it because a viewer donated five dollars and I will I dude five dollars come on like thank you so much for the donation like I will drum to this but I will suffer through it and I hate it <laughs> <laughs> you gotta but. suffer for five bucks nowadays it's the best way to do it uh, so, <laughs> because you you are a musician do you also create original music or like do you collaborate with other musicians on original music I don't do original music myself, but I would, I, I am always kind of like, not right now I'm pretty busy, but I, I want to be able to add my own style and drums over somebody's original. Mm -hmm. So actually, now that you mentioned that this week, I got one of my friends from Twitch. He is a uh, guitarist and, see, and he, he sent me his track. He said, this is my song. I would love for you to add your drums and your own take on it. Oh. So I'm going to record some of it uh, over the song and, and see if he likes it. And then he can, you know, program it and I think that that's kind of like my 
the thing about collabing with other people is awesome because you meet so many people on the internet through Twitch too. But on top of that, there's also uh, people just watch, just watching your Twitch streams and they're not only having a good time, but they're also just loving the fact that, uh, that there's a streamer on Twitch that not only is a fantastic drummer, but also is fucking hilarious sometimes. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, those people will sometimes look to streamers like yourself and they'll think, mm-hmm. I want to try that. I want to do that. What would you want to say to those people? So if you want to try streaming in general or just being comedic, I guess, because like, you think I'm funny. Okay, I just, I, I'm just a troll. Like, I just have fun with people. I just don't give a, a, a crap. Can I say that? Uh, honestly, I've been saying fuck this entire time, so by <laughs> all means. I just, I don't care. Like, you just have to have fun. Like, be yourself. Tell the jokes that you think that... Not even that you think are funny, but just to just be yourself and, and just don't think about people thinking, oh, he's he, he, he's not funny. No, 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 just have fun. I know that the things that I say sometimes are cringe, but I embrace it. And that's why I call myself. I have an emote in my chat that's cringe. It says cringe. So when there's something funny that I'm saying and I know that it's really stupid, people just put cringe in my chat over and over again. Just do it. Just just do it. That's the, my encouragement. Words are just do it. And it's not Nike, but <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just to be clear nike please don't kill us do not sue us during this time we do not <laughs> i do apologize for this question because i know it sounds like a job interview question but where do you see yourself and your channel in five years in five years i i think i would like to be able to kind of start traveling and meeting other people and performing live in a way where i do uh, clinics or some sort of um like session drumming, mm-hmm. and um, I can, I, I would love to meet other uh, b- bigger musicians. Like you know, the way that I've I've met or not met, but I haven't met Matthew Kehifi from Trivium, but mm-hmm. he knows who I am. Like he 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 knows that I'm on Twitch, and he knows who Sunfire is. So mm-hmm. it's like stuff like that. I would love to keep meeting people that inspire me in the music community. I would love to meet like eventually Corey Taylor one day. I did meet Corey Taylor, but like I would love to like engage with these artists in a way that's musically and not just me being a fan mm-hmm. because like i'm a fan of matthew and he knows that I'm a, I'm a drummer but he he understands and he acknowledges that i'm a great streamer and that's what he said one day and i'm a great like he's I'm, he said i'm one of his favorite streamers like that means a lot to me like he's the lead singer of trivium and mm-hmm. i know Maybe if you don't know Trivium, that's fine. But like, it's a it's a band that means a lot to me too because it's from my childhood. I would love to see more artists like that on um, yeah, on Twitch. I was like, who is Trivium? Who is who is <laughs> Trivium? Uh, what the dead men say? What? <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, such a great song. I'm not sure if this is something that a lot of people are asking, but I must know this. So, this sound effect. Where the hell? <laughs> where the hell did that yeah. come from? <laughs> I that's old. Oh, is that what video is that from? Can I ask? Uh, I, I just pulled it up from the the February 2020 funny moments video. <laughs> really? That's February? I had it. Okay, yeah. so I've been using that intro and like in and out. So I forget that I used it this year, but I thought that was from older videos. It's always been like an old intro sound that I created because I when I started making YouTube videos for like my channel, like funny moments. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, YouTubers have an intro, you know, like, like whatever, like they do crazy things. I wanted something simple and quick. So I just did like a bam sound and then I That's increased what the that pitch. Is? Oh, yeah. okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> yes, I couldn't yeah. tell what the hell that was. Like, how the hell is she doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, no, I increased the wow. pitch. Voice acting goals. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> and finally, the most important question that... Uh, uh, I could ask throughout this entire interview. If you mm-hmm. could be any cereal box character, who would you be? Cereal box character? Uh, like, like uh, you know, I have Cocoa Pebbles, so I'm thinking, uh, like, the Flintstones, but that's not... <laughs> I mean, like, Wait. Lucky Charms, Tony the Tiger... Oh, like those guys. <laughs> I've, oh, my God. You yeah. are the second that's... person I had to explain that to. <laughs> oh, my... I know. It's just... No, no, you know what? You should have said serial character because uh, you said serial box and i'm like why did that confuse me i don't know yes tony the tiger all right so um there's this uh, cereal that i grew up with called uh choco crispy crispies choco crispy mm. sorry and it's kind of like cocoa pebbles okay 
And but it's like a is it? Uh, do you guys have it here? It's like a brown elephant. I have stamp? no idea. Like it's I don't know if it's in the U.S. I don't know even even if it's in Canada. All I know is that um it, like it's a, I don't know is that from Costa Rica or Brazil or wherever what, you were from? Yeah, 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 from Costa Rica. And wow. I thought that the U.S. would have it too because we had uh I think it's uh oh no it's called it his name is called sorry his name is Melvin he's called Melvin. Not Sam. Sam is the toucan, right? Uh, yes, From toucan Sam. Lula? Yes. This is like the the hardest question. Now I'm, I, can't even, I can't even English. I'm stuttering, and I don't even know how to say people's names now. Like these guys are just I. You're ta- you're taking me out of my comfort zone with this question. I have no idea. No, I don't know. Um, I would be cool to be a toucan. I would I would leave it there. <laughs> that has to be uh, of the many times I've asked that question, the best answer I've ever gotten to a question like that. <laughs> I don't like, know, is, man. You're putting me on my comfort zone. Please help me. I don't know. I think I think I would. Yeah, I think if the world ended and that was the only question, I would probably die. <laughs> Sun, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with me over Skype. Uh, Sunfire TV uh, on Twitch every other every day or so, like aside from a couple of days, uh, every day uh, at like um, 4 p.m. Eastern or. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going back to 2 p.m. Actually, 2 p- this okay. there's tomorrow. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time, I have a front page uh, COVID-19 charity stream. Oh. So we're going to be raising funds for the ones affected by the virus. So Okay. All right. That'll be pretty cool. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sunfire TV on Twitch. Sun, thank you so much once again uh, for coming on the stream. If you want to check out her stuff, uh, any of her socials, links are down in the description. Anything you want to say to close out the video? Well, thank you for watching, and I will. I would love to see you around on Twitch. Uh, just let me know how you found me. If you found me through this video, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hang out and, and jam to some songs on Twitch. Once again, thanks for coming. I'll see you in the mosh pit next time. Uh, less COVID nineteen mosh pit next time. Oh, okay. uh, good night. <laughs>